Mikey, the kids. Which kids? The kids. Who? I don't know, the TikTokers. They don't know how to drink, and as always, you know, I'm just like, not on my watch. Mm -hmm. Have you ever built a cocktail in a Corona? No. Only put the Corona in a cocktail. Okay, well, <laughs> there's a widely known method that calls for building a cocktail directly in a Corona glass. Nobody asked for this. Shush, because I saw people calling this a TikTok cocktail and I said, that's disrespectful to alcoholics and every single one of my uncles. So today, I'm gonna to be teaching you all how to make different kinds of Corona cocktails. Some that already exist, and some that I just wanted to make up on a whim because that's what alcohol is, fun. You can get creative, you're just putting it inside your body. Don't even smile at me, you put a lot of weird things inside your body, don't even get me started. <laughs> By the way, this video is also not sponsored. Corona has yet to answer a single one of my DMs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's start with like about nine. I think we're gonna make about nine. For who? Us! <laughs> what do you mean for who? Okay, the first one we're gonna make is a Corona Rita. Now you've heard of that. Yeah. But normally it's the Corona in the margarita. We're literally just gonna build a margarita in a Corona. Okay. To do that, we have to drink half of each one. Okay, I actually love Corona. That's my beer of choice. It's definitely one of my tops. One of the only things that tops me. <laughs> the bottle or the beer? It depends what kind of night. <laughs> For this, I'm gonna need Cointreau, tequila, and lime juice. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is pour tequila directly in the bottle. We're not measuring this. Where's the funnel? Funnel? You're gonna make a big mess. M Mikey, at tailgates you don't have a funnel readily available, so you're just gonna wing it and hope for the best. See, look at this, amazing. This is a tailgate drink? This is a wherever you're in the need for a cocktail drink. It's a pre-given cup. This is called being innovative and resourceful. We're honestly promoting recycling in this vid. That's the theme of this, recycling. Got me fucked up. I'm sure there are measurements for each one of these. I couldn't think of more of a reason to go fuck yourself if you use me if you're like measure out the liquor to pour it in a Corona bottle. Fuck off. Slosh that a little bit. Just get a little stirred. I can't believe you've never done this. You've never done this. What are you looking at me like with utter disgust for? It's gonna be delicious. You've done this. Yes. When? What do you mean when? The time and date. You forget I was a fraternity person in the South. And you made cocktails out of your Corona bottles. Mama, fuck it up. Well, and what? Well. And what? And what? Margarita. Fuck Corona Rita, fuck it up. Fuck you. So there we go, Corona Rita. One is done. Next, because we have options. We're making multiple. You can get creative with this. Okay. The next one is also very simple. It's called a loaded Corona. It's literally just a Corona with vodka, lemon, and simple syrup, or sweet and sour mix, which is a complicated lemon juice and simple syrup. I think I learned something in there, but I already forgot what it was. Okay, so here we go. Loaded Corona, you're gonna add in vodka. We are wasting the <laughs> Grey Goose on this because we didn't buy any other ones. What happens when you don't prepare? You waste the good stuff. <laughs> Next, come in with some lemon juice and some simple syrup for sweetener. Again, you could use lemonade. If you don't have anything else, just use lemonade. Same thing. It's not, but it does the trick. <laughs> could you put like a powder, a lemonade powder? No, 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 shake no. Shake it up? No. And there you have it, a loaded Corona. Bam. Two drinks, very similar, yet very different at the same time. Next, we're gonna be making a Corona Sunrise. Mikey, can you guess what's in that? Tequila. Thank you. And the colorful things. It's like a tequila sunrise. You were a bartender. What do you mean, and colorful things? <laughs> you know what's in a tequila sunrise. For the Corona sunrise, it's literally just a play on the tequila sunrise. You're gonna add in tequila, orange juice, and grenadine. Very easy, coming in with the tequila. Here we go, I got orange juice. And you know you have orange juice at a tailgate. You can't have a tailgate without orange juice. It goes either in the punch you're making, or you know there's a sorority girl that wants a screwdriver at 9 a.m. because she can't have a beer. You know, <laughs> you know it. Wow, oh my God, amazing. And then I need the grenadine. Don't use too much because grenadine is very sweet. You remember you just want it to be like, you know, fun colors. Because look how pretty that is. And of course you can get fancy with the garnishes. Like the lemon juice one could have a lemon. This could have an orange slice. I always just go with a lime for a Corona Rita. I just feel like it just, it fits for me. It makes sense to me. And there you have three cocktails so far. We had boring Coronas, and now we have three very different intricate cocktails that were not invented by TikTok. It's history. If I see a fucking kid put nerds, nerds and vodka in a fucking Corona, I will, I will, go on a murdering rampage. Nerds? Nerds. Is that a thing? It was at this moment that every one of Mike's subscribers let out a huge, huge sigh because they know that a rant is about to ensue. 
buckle up, buckaroo. People have this obsession with putting like candy in alcohol and it bothers me because it does nothing. Because they're putting it with sugary alcohol, with sodas, and then adding candy. Like it's gonna make it even sweeter. It's just gonna cancel each other out because it's so sweet. Yeah. And when I say candy, I don't mean gummies because gummies make sense to put in cocktails because it will absorb the cocktail and actually become a separate snack. Two different things. And I'm also not against doing stuff with candy. Just don't overdo it. For example, if you're gonna use Jolly Ranchers, just throw it in straight vodka. You don't need to add it with juices and sodas because it's gonna flavor it by itself and not gonna cause an extra hangover that's unnecessary. As you can tell, it bothers me just a little bit. <laughs> the next one is even more simple. It's literally called a red Corona, which is a combination of the last two. It's vodka and grenadine. That's it. If you're not a tequila person, this one's for you. Or in the vodka, again, if you want to know the measurements, they are one parts fuck, two parts you. Add in the grenadine. Great. This one's gonna be a much more brighter red, more of like a candy apple red, if you will. Oh my God, throw that bitch on Instagram. <laughs> Actually don't, that lime sucks. Throw this bitch on Instagram, yeah! Look at this, four intricate cocktails. And we're not even done. Intricate? Intricate, yet simple. <laughs> I think this is interesting, I think this is fun. It I think- It is, but it's not intricate. No, but it's fun. Yes, it is fun. For me, fun and intricate, synonyms. <laughs> okay, you need a new thesaurus. <laughs> this is an archeology, span stop talking about dinosaurs. All right, the next one's not a thing. I just kind of want to see if it'll work. I'm gonna make a Corona Paloma. Uh, what would you call that? A, a, a Paroma? A Paloma. A, sure, Paloma. For this, I'm literally just gonna add in tequila, agave, and Grapefruit juice. That actually sounds good. Honestly, I think it's gonna slap. I've never done it before, but we're gonna test it. Ooh, shit, staying basic, tequila added in. Now we got some agave we're gonna put in there. Get in. Just a little bit, just enough to get it pregnant, you know? And then top it off with your grapefruit juice. This one's gonna be strong because I added in a lot of tequila, which is fine, we'll figure it out as we go. Don't ever be mad if a drink is too strong. If anything, just take two big sips, and then go ask for more soda. The bartender will always give you more soda or mixture. They won't give you more alcohol though. So if anything, they saved you a couple bucks instead of having to buy two drinks. You got strong one. Someone got mad at me. They were like, if it's, if you're a bad bartender if people are getting drunk at your bar. I'm like, okay, first of all, that's literally my whole job. Second of all. <laughs> Who said that? Someone on TikTok, they're like, if people are getting sick at your bar, it's your fault for being a bad bartender. Like, it's my fault for making you drink too much. Like, it's my job to make sure that the drinks aren't too strong and like too dangerous, but like, I'm supposed to know that Betty Who over here had nine fucking tequila sodas and doesn't know what to do with her house? Not Betty Who. Betty Who, bitch. <sighs> People can't be accountable and responsible for their own actions. If you leave the bar and get in an accident for drinking and driving though, it is the bartender's fault. That's why I will never let somebody drive after leaving the bar. I don't, is it not, it's not your fault if they go and drive? What if they go somewhere else first? No, that is your, it is your fault. You're illegally accountable. The bar is accountable, which also makes you accountable. Also, if you get like insanely drunk, we are liable, but I'm saying like, if you come to my bar and you're extremely fucked up, of course I'm not gonna serve you. Like I'm not, you don't serve somebody who's visibly fucked well, up. Well, yeah, I get that. But you and I both know we will have just that one shot that, oops, I did it again. Anywho, Paloma. Paloma. Fuck, what was it called? Paloma. Five cocktails. How, how fun in the sun. We're gonna try and get creative again. We're gonna make a watermelon daiquiri Corona. Now that sounds intricate. Intricate, bitch. Okay, for this one, we're gonna add in your white rum. Does it have to be white rum? It has to be white rum. Dark rum tastes different. Next, you're gonna add in simple syrup. Wow. And then I couldn't find watermelon juice, but I found little pieces of watermelon. We're gonna model them. We're gonna, you know. Don't we have a juicer? We do have a juicer. We'll be using that in a moment. Uh oh. Now, normally if I was at a tailgate, I would just use my hands and squeeze it in because I'm disgusting. Um, but we're gonna pretend like we don't do that. We're gonna pretend like we have manners. Shit, I'm gonna try to avoid getting the seeds in there. Okay, well I failed. <laughs> Get it away from me. I know for a fact you have no problem swallowing seeds. I don't. Get <laughs> yeah, I bet you it's gonna be fucking delicious. There you go, it's a, uh, what did we call this one? A watermelon daiquiri corona. A watermelon daiquirona. A watermelon daiquirona. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six fun Corona cocktails. I'm gonna continue having fun. We're gonna make a blue Hawaiian Corona. Ooh. I know, bitch. For this, you're gonna go in and add in Malibu rum. I bet you this one's gonna be really, really good too. Then add in pineapple juice, or in my case, tropical punch, because it's all Ralph's had. And then a dash of blue curacao for some added sweetener. A blue Corona. Or will it become green? 
We'll find out. It's very Sailor Neptune. It's very Sailor Neptune. She's like Sailor Moon's sister. You right? should be disappointed <laughs> in yourself. I, I'm gonna call it a. Ah! I'm just gonna call it Surf's Up because surfers drink Corona and Malibu. Surf's up. I'm trying my best, but it's cute. Look at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fun Corona cocktails. Even though the watermelon one has some scum at the top of it. But watermelon juice separates, so we're just gonna have to go with it. Okay, I have one more idea. This one's a little bit out there, but it could be refreshing. I wanna make a cucumber Corona. Okay. Bitch, give it a try. I'm thinking if we add in vodka, lemon juice, simple syrup, and a little bit of fresh cucumber juice. It could be good. Now, cucumber juice you might not have readily available at a tailgate, but you might have it at your like artsy aunt's house who's secretly a lesbian, but she can't tell the family. Here we go, add in the vodka, lemon juice, simple syrup, and now I think I have a cucumber. And then I got a juicer and we made some fresh cucumber juice and I'm gonna add the cucumber juice in the Corona. Is it gonna be good? I don't know. Are we gonna put it in our bodies? You're Absolutely right. It's healthy because it's cucumber. Yeah. Ooh. Good save. Something about the thick juices does not fare well with Corona. Okay, so I don't know how well the Corona one worked out. Honestly, it might be good for like a Halloween cocktail. A Halloween Rona. Maybe, who knows? It's It's got nothing but scum at the top of it. It's all just scum. Were all of these a success? Probably not. Now we get to do the fun thing, which is Taste them. I'm gonna try each one, and then I'm gonna rate them from one to 10. I'm gonna go ahead and push the limes in all of them, cause that's what you have to do with your Coronas. It literally, it looks like gonorrhea. Ew. It looks like gonorrhea. Does it not look like gonorrhea? Well, that one's gonna be interesting. Gonorrhea! First one up is the Corona Rita. Cheers. Oh, it's delicious. Solid eight out of 10. Corona Rita, eight out of 10, in my opinion. Shouldn't what? Shouldn't that be a 10 out of 10? That's the most basic, obvious drink. I think it's eight out of 10. My 10s, when it comes to cocktails, very hard to get. What, a pumptini? Pumpti, what? <laughs> Next, the loaded Corona, which was vodka and lemon juice. Nine, better than the margarita. What? Better than the margarita. Oh my God. It tastes like a strong shandy. A strong what? A strong shandy. What's a shandy? It's like, it's like lemon and beer. Oh. <laughs> Next up we have the Corona Sunrise. 10. Yeah, that looks so good. 10, absolute 10. This is fucking awesome. I could have like 12 of these. Holy shit. Can't taste any alcohol in that. It tastes like straight juice. Next up we have the red Corona, the pretty one, the one that looks like candy in my opinion. Honestly? Eight. Eight. I'm gonna say eight. That got the same score as a regular margarita. Yes. I don't know what it is about grenadine and Corona. It's really, the, the sweetness goes really well with the Corona. Watch, you're gonna see. Okay. All right, now we get to the intricate one. This is the Paloma, right? Yeah, the Paloma. Pal Paloma. The, the, the mm -hmm, that one. Oh, it's actually really refreshing. Eight. What's in that again? I forget. It's a Corona with agave, tequila, and grapefruit juice. Oh, I bet the agave really did the trick. Probably. Yeah. Okay, now we have the watermelon daiquir daiquiri. What would, what do we call it? Daiquirita? The watermelon daiquirita? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Cheers. Honestly, other than the chunks of watermelon in it, it's fucking good. It's actually really, really good. That's all, it's all summery flavors. You just gotta get over the schmutz floating around in it. Other than that, solid eight. Very close nine. Now the Surf's Up, the Blue Hawaiian. The one with Corona, Malibu, and Blue Curacao with pineapple juice. Yeah. You have to say Surf's Up before you drink it. <laughs> surf's Up, dude. There we go. 10. 10. Ooh, it's surf's fucking up. <laughs> awesome. It's fucking delicious, dude. <laughs> and now, um. <laughs> the best for last. I'm calling it gonorrhea. Gonorona! Oh my God, cheers, <laughs> gonorona. Okay, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. It doesn't taste bad. Look, and it even re-oozes. Look at it. It's like an uncircumcised dick. <laughs> that is like a Halloween cocktail. Mm -hmm. It literally is. It keeps fizzing over and honestly, it tastes really fresh. Like it's good. I would rate it a six. It's gross. I'm not rating it based on appearance. I'm going strictly on taste. Hold on, it's... Why? The discharge. It's fizzing because of the pulp. I would say it's probably not the best one, but it's good. Honestly, 
a wide success. All right, guys, let me get Mikey's opinion, just so you know I'm not bullshitting you, because if these suck, he's gonna say it sucks, because he's an asshole. <laughs> okay, this is so gross. I didn't even see it up close. All right, classic. Oh, you're right. Okay, yeah, that's a seven. I'm gonna go even lower than you. <laughs> it's not that good. It's better the opposite way, for sure. That one is a loaded Corona. Oh yeah, I'm more of a vodka person, so. That's good. That was good, right? Yeah, nine. It's a nine! I'm probably gonna like, I would order a uh, tequila sunrise at the bar. I, okay, I don't taste a drop of alcohol in this. That's what I'm saying! But that also makes me sketch that there's no alcohol in it. But I know there is because it's a fucking beer. You saw me pour tequila in there. Where did it go? It's half tequila! I would want this stronger, but this is really good. I was going to say a nine as See? well. Alrighty. This is the watermelon one, right? No, 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 it's not. That's, that's the red one. I don't like it. You don't like it at all? No, I like it a little. Okay. Obviously, I like it enough that I would definitely drink it. Okay. I give that a seven. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, on to the next one. The Paloma Corona. Paloma. Paloma. Eight point five. Woo! That's a good one. I feel like with a lot of these, it's like. I and I want to taste a little bit of the beer, and I taste a little bit of the beer in that one. Yes. That like one this one, I don't. It tastes like juice. I feel like you're gonna get that, like very shandy, like that one with the loaded. Yeah. And that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I see all the watermelon in here. Yeah. Just what you gotta get. You gotta get <laughs> past the schmutz. Ten. Ten. Nine and a half. Really? Yeah, that one's really good. I really like that one. Oh, wow. I didn't even taste any of the, uh, the little chunks. Ooh. No seeds, no bits. Okay. Surf's up. <laughs> oh yeah, ten. Yeah. Ten. It's so good. The, the blue drink. Yeah, that's good. I don't even want to try this one. Gonorona. It's so gross. Mikey, just you have to get past the grossness. That is so weird. It's, I'm not mad about it, but... It's not the best, but it's not bad. I give it a nine. A nine? Yeah. You think it's better than the original? Yes. Really? Yeah. Okay! I know, I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked. Well, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like it and subscribe for future videos. I put them out weekly, usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but sometimes I'm late, just like your mom. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Yeah, comment. Let me know which one of these you think sounds the best and which one you think sounds the worst. And if you make any of them for yourself, Tag us on social media. Where can they find you on social media, Mikey? At totally.mikey. <laughs> Where can they find you on social media, Mike? They're on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to see more shenanigans like this, be sure to check out hashtag Sip it Sundays. Every Sunday I go live on Twitch at 6 p.m. PST, 9 p.m. EST. And also don't forget that I have a podcast with Mac, Messy with Mac and Mike. We go live every Wednesday. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not bye. What else? Giant Nego. Oh, okay. My name is Mike of GTV. You're fucking oh. welcome. Bye. <laughs>